Hi everybody, it's Heather Parrott, Independent Demonstrator in Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm going to make a card today. I'm going to use Quite Curvy and I'm also going to use Whale Done. Um, I haven't used Whale Done in quite a while so I thought I would pair it with my new stamp set that I got and make a card. I have a card base, Old Olive. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of Whisper White. This is four by five and a quarter. I have a piece, another piece of Whisper White, which is also four by five and a quarter. And then I took some designer series paper out of the Whale Done um, set. And these are 3.75 inches wide. And then I just cut them down and I used the die and I I spaced it so I had enough room for my um, stamped sentiment which is going to go right in there like that and then I took some more of the DSP and I think this piece here is three and a half inches wide and then I took, see this is the die that I used. Um, I used this one here with the, um, the the one with the holes and a certain way you put like put your dies you'll get the holes and then if you flip it around the other way you won't get the holes so I did it so that the blue DSP had the holes and then the patterned paper I just wanted like the curve. Um, I also took uh, the turtle DSP and I fussy cut out a turtle. I also took this seaweed stamp and I took a piece of uh, so saffron and old olive and I stamped in the same colors, the seaweed, and then I just took an X-Acto knife and I, I just, well, I fussy cut it out and then I took an X-Acto knife and just cut out the center. Because I thought it would be kind of fun to have a little bit of um, dimension down here. So I'm gonna like glue that down and then maybe pop one of those up. And I'm gonna pop my turtle up as well. So, let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is make sure all my little holes are punched out. I haven't, um, oh, it's been a couple of days since I did a video uh, just with work. And then I had a craft show on Sunday, so I was busy prepping for that. <coughs> and um, yeah, I've just been busy. Um, and I've been feeling a little off lately, so uh, I went to the doctor today. And um, yeah, I have a hernia, and apparently it's really, really bad. So I have to... Um, have surgery to get it fixed but the doctor said it's probably going to be a year before they can get to me so I'm on a waiting list so she put me on light duties at work so I'm not allowed to um, lift anything over 10 pounds so uh, no more being a cashier for me at the grocery store I'm going to be uh, limited to the um, self-checkout station and um, they're going to look at training me for the smoke shop slash lottery booth. So, yeah, so that's my news. Uh, it's been a crappy year, everybody. Crappy year for every, a lot of people. I'll be glad when that, whoops, whoa, that came out way too much. I'll be glad when this, not that it, next year's going to be any better, but, uh, I'm hoping it is like it's so hard to because um, my doctor's office is out by my 
parents and my grandmother. My grandmother is in her 90s and where I work in a grocery store, like I don't want to risk, you know, her getting anything. So Christmas is coming and I feel so bad that I can't visit my Grammy. And her birthday is coming up. She's going to be 94 next week. So hard. She's doing good though. She's um, handling it well. But I miss, I miss not being able to go out and see her. It's very, very difficult. And what's the date today? The 23rd? Today is November 23rd. Oh, the time is just going by so quick. It's hard to believe. So I'm just gluing everything down. And then I'm going to try to get that sentiment lined up in here. And I thought I would, for the sentiment, I thought I would use, um, I wanted a fairly dark color and I didn't want navy. Um, so I thought I would do it in like a garden green, which would kind of go with that seaweed down here. And then my turtle is gonna go there. So I thought garden green would look nice. And this is my first time using this stamp set, so, and I just re-inked my um, ink pad because it was not very juicy. Okay. Okay, that looks like it's inked up pretty good. Oh, I hope this doesn't mess up because I really don't want to have to redo all this again. Okay, I'm going to stand up for this one. And I should be using a piece of foam. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, so I hope everybody's doing good. I mean, I, I feel so bad telling work that, you know, that I have to kind of take it easy, you know, with Christmas coming and all. But you know what? They were really understanding. And the girls that I work for, like, they're superb. Like, they really took a lot of the stress off me today when I had to tell them that. So, I can breathe a sigh of relief and... but I'm the type of person, I don't like to call in, like I never call in sick. Like I have to be like puking my guts up for me to call in sick, so. Telling them today was really, really hard because I've only been there since August, so. But they were very, very understanding. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim this down a little bit. I probably scored this a little. Crooked, okay. And that looks a lot better. Okay. Okay, so for the inside, I thought I would just stamp some. Let's see. I need a scrap piece of paper here. Just use this. Okay. So I have my seaweed. I have so saffron and old olive. And I'm gonna do so saffron first because it's the lighter color. And whoops, I just got a little bit of ink. 
ink on my block and I don't want no whoopsies. Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp off. And then stamp off and then just do like a lighter shade there. I think after Christmas I'm going to take a break from the uh, the farmers markets that I do because with the virus it's just been so slow this year. Yeah, take a break. Okay, so I'm gonna go there and like that and just do like just a little bit in the corner not a whole lot and at this point I'm not even really focused on getting people in for classes cuz that's just not my focus right now cuz whatever money I make at the market that's going to pay for my stamping up stuff and hopefully I can just keep my sales quota going. But I'm just, the stupid virus is just messing everything up. And I'm not good with online, like I'm just not. Isn't that cute? I had like I love this this cur like I wasn't gonna get this curvy die and I'm so glad I did because it just I just love it love it love it love it okay so I think I'm going to no I don't want that covering my sentiments so I'm gonna have to I think just cut a little bit off the bottom of this. And I think the green piece, I'm just going to glue down. And then this, I will have to cut some little pieces to pop up. Tweezers. Oh, there you are. Okay, so this one was my stamping up the tools. I'm gonna need I don't know, the minis might even be too big. Where's my... Let's see. Yeah, too big. Okay, so I'm going to have to cut these in half. And I'm not going to put a whole lot on this. It's just... Uh, Just want it a little bit of it propped up. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks good. And my turtle, I'm gonna prop him up. And then I'll put 
one on this flipper and then cut one in half. And one right there. And one right here. And that should be good. I was going to add ribbon, but then I'm like, hmm, no, I don't think I'm going to. So my turtle. I just got to figure out how I don't want him swimming down or, yeah, I think I'll have him come on my Right about there. Oh, I forgot to take the backing off of that dimensional. Like, why is his head sticking way up in the air like that? <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I have some of these gold metallic pearls. I think I'm just going to add a couple of those. And I think I'm only going to add them to the blue, the blue parts. Okay, so I'll put uh, one there. And one down here. And I think I'm only going to add the three. Okie dokely. That is the card. Pretty simple. So if you live in Canada and you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to help you out. All my links will be in the description below. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.